Hello everybody and a good day to you all today. I am talking about Supernatural, season number 14, episode number 17, Game Night. This episode is directed by John F. Um, Showalter. And here we have the Winchesters together to trying to have a family game night. That's all they want to do. You got, you got Sam, you got Dean, you got Jack, and you got Mary there. And they, and they all just want to eat, have some food, play a game, have some fun. Well, things do not go according to plan because, uh, because well, um... Donatello gets kidnapped by Nick, and so now that now, so now the family game night has been broken up because they gotta rescue Donatello from crazy insane Nick who escaped from police authority. And we gotta we gotta figure out what is he trying to do, what is his plan, what is his motivation, what is he up to. And then we have Castiel. He's out there. He has his own secret mission because he wants to save Jack. He feels as though Jack is um he doesn't know how much of Jack's soul has been, he had burnt off to pretty much save them from Michael. Is he gonna be a problem? Is he gonna is something wrong with him? So he's gonna try he's trying to find a way to pretty much try to restore his soul. And so he wants to talk to God. And so he goes to Anel, another angel played by Danelle um Ackles, also the wife of um Jens, Jens, Jensen Ackles. She's back on the show as an angel, and he's trying to get her help to um to help to help save Jack. And in the process, they meet Methuselah. But who I thought died. I mean, I know Methuselah lived, lived a long time. That was his whole thing. He lived. He just lived long, and then eventually he did die. But nope, he's still he's still kicking. He is still kicking today. And they're trying to find something to help save Jack, and trying to find something to help to help them to, to, to talk to, communicate with God. And then you then you so now you have Nick back on the loose again, and you find out well, you find out what his motivation is. He wants to get repossessed by by Lucifer himself, the Satan, the devil, and so. And so he needs certain things to make sure this happens. And one of the things he needs is the blood of Jack. And he gets that by pretty much tricking him to confront him. And which is really messed up. Nick has gone full crazy now. He's gone pure insane. Ever since Lucifer came out of his, came out of his body, you thought that he was going to become a better person, turn his life around. But nope. He went full dark side. So now he's trying to reclaim what he has lost. And, and in the process, Jack has to use his power to save um, Sam's life. And he also uses his powers to pretty much take care of Nick. I don't know if that's the right thing to do or the wrong thing to do, but here's what he did. Because, see, Nick is actually a human being. He's not a monster. He's not he's nothing supernatural. Yes, he was possessed by something supernatural, but he's a regular person. Yes, yes he's a psycho. But it's supposed to have called the police. But Nick, Jack decided to take care of himself. And that scared Mary. Because, see, Jack has so much power. And the fact that he might not have a soul anymore means he could turn either way. I mean, eventually, he might get sick of Tyler trying to be nice. He might, he might get sick of Tyler trying to be the good one. He might just say, screw it. And just turn pure evil. And they say, no, he's the new Lucifer. So, oh, I don't, I don't know. At the same time, I do understand where Jack's coming from. Because the thing is, though, Jack doesn't really seem that different. Yes, he's using his powers more. Yes. And yes, and sometimes he does some thing that's a little bit scary. That is true. But that was just, that's how he was when he, when he, um, when he had his soul. So, because he, seems, he still seems to care. And he does care about the Winchester because he believes cause that's his family. And so he wants to look out for and protect them. But at the same time, what he's doing... You understand, but should he be doing it, that's the issue. And is this making him become more evil or closer to the dark side? Because by them being scared of him and saying, Jack, don't do this, is that making it worse? Or is that making it better? See, that's the part I don't I'm, I'm kind of on the fence on with this, with this episode. I mean, I'm enjoying the show. The acting performance is everybody's fantastic. I like the chemistry between, between the whole cast. How they look, how they look, out, for, look out for each other and, and are a family. Um, watching um, Mark um, um, Pellegrino, 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 who, play, who plays Nick. Watch him take on this new role as just playing, being himself and not as Lucifer, the, the devil. is also very interesting. He's still an interesting character. Because he was finally Lucifer. So now he's still, I wouldn't say he's fun, but he's still an interesting character to watch. And watching, them, and watching both Sam, Dean, and Mary dealing with how Jack is now. Not sure exactly what to do with them, but, but also at the same time, want to protect them and try to keep them safe. 
I'm trying to look out for him at the same time too. At, well, at the same time, they're scared. To, they're scared of him. He's a nuclear bomb. He could go off any moment, and they couldn't stop him. So, ugh. So when he fully, let's say he fully embraces all his energetic powers that he has and he possesses. And he just when he just he just go all out. What can they do? I mean, even Castiel. I don't think I think even Castiel is strong enough. He took out Michael. So, ugh. Yeah. But like I said, overall, another great episode. Uh, leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of Supernatural. Tell me what you thought about it, how you felt about it. Leave your comments down below. Well, that's pretty much all I got to say about that. So give my channel a big like, thumbs up, shaboop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it, like I always say, in my dreams and in my life. I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.